So in the last video we have seen we got this output which is which is I am here right now we don't want to print I am here we want to print the output of uh, the addition of seven and six so for that what we do is first we need to take the the, the what you say the values from the user so whenever you enter values here within t1 t2 you're calling this controller which is add okay now we need to take the values so if you have to say int i it will take your first value so as you if you are comfortable with servlet and jsp you might be knowing this so you have to take input using request dot get parameter i will say pass int and here we have to mention request dot get parameter so get parameter and we have to provide our brackets and in this double in this bracket you have to mention the name of your field which is t1 and we are getting an error so this error is what is the request object so first we have to do, we have to create create the request object and we can create that request object in this add method so we need to create two objects here as we create in uh, uh, do get do post in servlet so we have to say http servlet request which is we'll say request object comma http servlet response which is for we'll name this as response object so we need to create these two objects here okay let me import the package for request also now you can use this request object now same thing you have to do for the second variable which is j so which is int j equal to and this will be 2 now once we got these two values let's add those values we'll say one more variable k equal to i plus j now once we got these two values we need to send this value to this display page okay now how to send that value to send the value we need to use something called as model object okay now how to use model object so we have to create something called as model and view object or so model and view is a class and we'll say mv equal to new model and view so using model and view you can pass the data which you have generated so we have generated our data which is k so you can pass this value using model and view object now whenever you work with model and view object we need to specify two things first thing will be mv dot set view name which view you want to call so we have to say display dot jsp it's your view the second thing is what data you need to pass so we have to say mv dot so in order to add data we need to say add object and every object will have two things first will be the label for the object we'll say label is result and the data is k so we, we want to send this k to the page now since we are using modern view object we can we should not return a string we need to return something called as mv object which is modern view object now since we are returning mv, MV object instead of string we'll mention model and view the type we have to mention there cool now using this we can pass the data to the view now let's see how to add that thing in or how to fetch that value here so we need to type something called as result is and in give a colon now that object or the value belongs to request object so we need to fetch value from request object we'll be using expression here and we'll say request dot get attribute and we have to mention something called as result here simple and once you do these changes let's go back to your eclipse or your browser refresh will pass two values three or four and five we'll click on submit and the answer you got is result is nine so that's how you create a simple mvc application in spring so that's your spring mvc so stay tuned in the further tutorials we'll talk about some extra annotations for you an extra annotation you should know about spring mvc so thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos.